OCR Wireless News. I'm Martha DeGrasse, and I'm here with Jeff Andrews. He is the Cullen Trust Endowed Professor of Electrical Engineering at the University of Texas. Jeff, thanks so much for coming to the studio today. My pleasure. Good to be here, Martha. So we are here to talk about the Texas Wireless Summit. Congratulations. It's the 15th anniversary of this event, so uh, obviously a successful event. Uh, this year you have some amazing speakers from, from the industry, and for a while now, I think that this event has sort of been on the leading edge of wireless technology trends, especially around 5G, autonomous driving, and now drone technology. So we're going to hear all about that. But first, we want to hear about the new location for this year's event. Oh, thanks. Yeah, well, it's amazing how far we've come in 15 years. You know, it was just Wi-Fi was just being rolled out when we first had this event, and, and 3G was just being rolled out, and, uh, you know... Uh, phones couldn't even take pictures, and now you know so it's a, a lot's happened in 15 years, and we, our events kind of been usually about five to ten years out ahead of what's uh, been happening next. And so yeah, this year um, we have it in our brand new building uh, on campus. We've had it in the Blanton the last few years, the Art Museum in Texas, um, but this year we have a brand new engineering building. It's the flagship building um, in all of the state of Texas for engineering, and it's just. Uh, uh, this will be like the, the, one of the first events actually held in that building. We just moved in. There's still guys in hard hats around. So, yeah, we're pretty excited to welcome people to see this landmark uh, facility. Okay, great. And tell us about some of the, the speakers that you have lined up. I think that, that some of the, the leaders in the 3GPP work around 5G are going to be at your event. Yeah, that's right. I mean, and, uh, interestingly, this year, a lot of the speakers are our alumni and, uh, and the, who are making, you know, le taking leading roles at this point in many aspects of the standardization of 5G, as well as uh, video streaming and driverless cars and machine learning. Um, so, uh, you know, for example, we have uh, Qualcomm's millimeter wave technical lead, uh, Sundar Simpermanian. We have uh, Zhu Kang Shen, who is a very senior standards person at Huawei and was newly elected uh, the uh, radio, the physical layer chair for, for the 5G standard. Um, so very well known uh, internationally, one of our first graduates, you know, like 13 years ago. Um, you know, several others. I, you know, I don't have the whole program in front of me, but lots of people talking about, uh, you know, what's going on right now with 5G, what will be happening in the next three years, what we can look forward to. Uh, for example, how uh, cellular networks are going to start even being uh, accessible by UAVs, drones. Uh, that's, you know, people are looking into that right now and starting to standardize that, and, you know, which drones are supposed to grow exponentially in number, so they'll be connected. Um, so a lot of interesting things happening right now, for sure. Yeah, so you have somebody from Ericsson, I think, talking about LTE on UAVs, right? Yes, that's right. We have one of the, the Ericsson uh, standardization people who's leading that effort uh, at Ericsson in Silicon Valley. Great, great. Okay, and what about uh, LTE connected vehicles on the ground and autonomous driving? You had a whole program around that last year. Yeah, that was our focus last year, so it was not as much focus this year on that, but still, um, you know, it's obviously a really exciting thing happening right now. Um, so we do have uh, work on, you know, uh, both localization as well as uh, infotainment applications uh, in, in, in connected vehicles. Obviously, when people don't have to drive anymore, they're going to want to do things uh, that will consume data in their cars. Um, and then, you know, uh, aspects of how, you know, five, one of the main UK use cases for 5G is for connected vehicles. And so we'll have some uh, discussion and talks on that as well. Okay, fantastic. And then what about machine learning? Well, yeah, so machine learning is, um, it turns out a lot of the mathematical tools that you can use for optimizing wireless networks are not unlike some of the tools used in machine learning. So some of our faculty have taken a lot of interest in this and become major innovators in the machine learning uh, space. And so some of their uh, former students are now professors at top schools, such as uh, Cornell. We have two, two there in Wisconsin. And so they're, they're going to be coming back to speak about their cutting-edge research on machine learning. And you know, one feature of WNCG is that we have a lot of work going on that intersects machine learning and wireless. There's lots of problems at different layers of the stack that can, app, that can use tools for machine learning to improve how the, you know, the network operates, how you optimize content, how you cache content, even how you do things at the physical layer you can treat as a black box and apply machine learning tools too. So we'll have some discussions on that as well. You've got a lot of WNC graduates that are really involved in, in you know, some of the companies that we at RCR write about every day, and then also at some, some startups that will be probably written about in the future. Tell yeah. us about some of the startups that are, that are coming this year. Yeah, this is a really exciting development. You know, some of our uh, students have increasingly been starting companies themselves, yeah, um, or you know, uh, be, being very early employees at at, at high 
flying prof um, high profile startups. So we'll have the CTO of Artemis, which is a, uh, some would say notorious, but a, I think an extremely interesting company in San Francisco that Steve Perlman is the CEO of. Um, and it was co-founded by uh, Antonio Forenza, who's a WNCG graduate from UT. Great guy, great speaker. He'll be talking about their uh, interference cancellation technology, which has major ramifications for dense networks of the future. Yeah. We'll have um, one of the founders of Phaser, which is a disruptive millimeter wave company in Dallas here, um, as well as some VCs, uh, uh, the CTO and founder of M87, so, uh, which is now a Seattle company. Uh, these are, again, all people that came out of UT and, and did these, so I think it'll be a really uh, fun startup session this year. We'll, hopefully they'll share some experiences and inspire uh, other attendees this year. To Probably. Do the same. Excellent. All right, and where can people go to learn more about how to, how to learn about the conference or watch it or even attend? Yeah, well, uh, RCR is streaming it, so that's you could go to RCR's website, I guess, for, for that. Well, um, it's very easy to find. It's texaswirelesssummit.org. You can Google it, just type it in, um, and we'll have the whole program there. Registration is very cheap. We've, we, you know, Because it's a grand opening of our building, we're keeping it just a cost. It's, uh, I think, now $150 because the early bird just uh, expired. But, you know, again, very cheap for a conference of this quality. Um, and uh, you know the, with, this, with these kind of speakers. All right, November sixth, Texas Wireless Summit. Jeff, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you, my pleasure.